Hi, I'm Gary McDonald and I'm an Automotive Marketing Manager for the Multi-Cell Balancing Product line at Intersil. Today I would like to introduce the ISL 78610. This device is an automotive grade 12-cell lithium-ion battery pack monitor and I want to demonstrate how easy it is to set up and work with using the evaluation kit and GUI software. The part is fully automotive compliant and designed to meet the stringent safety, reliability and performance requirements of a next generation HEV, PHEV and EV application. The ISL 78610 can be used as a standalone battery monitor or as redundant backup in an ASIL compliant system. It measures and monitors cell voltages, temperatures, includes cell balancing and provides full diagnostics and fault detection for lithium ion battery packs. The eval kit contains three boards, one eval board, one power supply board and one microcontroller interface board. It also contains a PC interface cable and one interconnect cable. The power supply board simulates the individual cell inputs and removes the need to have an, an actual cell stack. It's a resistive divider which takes the supply voltage from a power supply and it divides it down into the individual cell voltages. The microcontroller board provides the interface to a PC. I pre-installed the GUI on my PC as a demonstration. The GUI along with a full suite of application notes, FAQs and data sheets can be downloaded from the ISL 78610 product page on the Intercell website. For demonstration purposes, I've set up two boards here in a daisy chain configuration. If you wish to evaluate the boards in a daisy chain configuration, then you should order one eval kit for each device in the daisy chain. In this case, that would be two kits. Up to 14 boards can be daisy chained together using a simple twisted pair up to one meter in length. I'd like to now show you some features of the part using the GUI for illustration. Continuous polling. The part has three voltage scanning modes. I will demonstrate the scan all mode using the continuous polling feature of the GUI. Here you can see each cell voltage being continuously read. The polling rate can be selected and adjusted by the user. Fault detection. The device has a full suite of diagnostics and fault detection as required by AEC Q100 and ISO 26262. This includes open wire detection, which detects whether there has been a disconnection of cell reading wires during operation. I'll demonstrate an open wire conditioning using this dip switch. You can see the GUI is now reporting a fault and there's a useful LED indicator on the eval board itself. Another really useful feature of the GUI is its charting capability. By clicking on this tab, you can see various user selectable parameters being charted. Charts can be exported to other applications, such as Excel, for example, for further analysis. For more detailed instructions, to assist with the design and deployment process, please refer to the ISL 78610 product page on the Intersoil website. If you have any questions, please contact our technical support group by visiting the Intersoil website forward slash support. Thank you for listening.